Hey guys, what's going on? Back with another video. How's everybody doing? Week 14 is upon us here. Doing our week 14 picks. It's kind of bittersweet, you know, because uh, you know the season is uh, is winding down here, which you, know, you, you, you hate, which you hate to see. Um, but uh, you know, anyways, with the playoffs around the corner, some things to look forward to. Unless you're, you know, unless your team's in the NFC East, and this doesn't really seem like anybody wants to get ahead in that uh, playoff race. Which brings us to our first game of the week: the Dallas Cowboys at the Chicago Bears on Thursday night. Uh, so, you know, you look at this team, first of all, let's, let's talk about the Bears. Mitch Trubisky sucks. I'm dying on that hill. I mean, that, that's a waste of a great defense. Um, you know, the, I mean, it's, it's kind of like the Bills. Like, the Bills have a great defense, but even, even Allen, like, they, they started to be able to, you know, score some points. Just, it, and I feel like, like, Chicago's really never had a quarterback. It's always either been about the defense, the run game, or it's just never, never had a great passer there. You know, it's just never really been about that, and it seems to continue. Uh, the Dallas Cowboys, on the other hand, it seems like nobody wants to win the NFC East. No, like these teams, it's like the Chargers. You know, they're 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 finding every way you could lose the game. They're they're finding out how to do it. You know, it's like nobody wants to get ahead. I think theoretically, the the Redskins could could win the NFC East. And it's not gonna happen, but you know, you get the idea. I don't, I don't know if this has ever happened before. That like, there's nobody. You know, you've got like teams with like nine losses, one in the division. You know, I mean, at least that's a possibility, but. Um, it's pretty much an open secret that Jason Garrett's done as soon as the season's over. And it's kind of like going to be the, um, you know, it's the end of him. I mean, the only reason he's still around is because Jerry Jones says, you know, well, if we make it to the playoffs and we get somebody else, we're not going to have a shot. I mean, I don't know about that. I don't know what Jason Garrett's really doing on that team. I mean, it's just, it, it seems like he just has no impact on the team. I mean, they go out there every week. They beat the teams they should beat. They lose to the teams they should lose to. And, and, and increasingly, as of late, they're losing the teams they should beat. Like, I mean, it's just not. They go out there, hand Zeke the ball, gonna feed Zeke. You know, they do that. And then, you know, Dak Prescott's gonna have some throws. You know, Amari Cooper might drop one. I mean, it's like the same, the same thing every week. And the defense really can't get it going. You know, it's just, you know. And, and the worst part about it is, is, is they can't really seem to to change anything up. They just can't change it up. It's the same, just wheeling out the same thing every week. Um, you know, so as far as this game goes, Dallas needs the win. I got Chicago winning this game just because it's at home. They got a good defense. They're not going to make it easy for the Cowboys. The Cowboys can't adjust to anything. There's just no real coaching going on on that team. I got the Bears winning this game. Next game up Sunday, 1 o'clock, the Colts at the Buccaneers. The Colts are six and six. The Buccaneers are five and seven. This is just straight up garbage. This game. I mean, well, I mean, like, I, I, I still think the Colts are a pretty good team. Uh, I got the Colts winning this game, but I mean, woof! What a what a what a matchup that is. Uh, speak <laughs> speaking of bad matchups, we got the we got the Dolphins at the Jets uh, also on Sunday. Um, the Dolphins are three and nine. The Jets are four and eight. It's in New York. Give me the Jets. The Dolphins, but on. Uh, yeah, this could be the game of the week. Ah, oh, man, we got two really good games this week. Two really great games. I don't know how I'm going to pick which one's the game of the week. San Francisco 49ers at the New Orleans Saints. And then we also have the Kansas City Chiefs at the New England Patriots. Um, First of all, let's talk about this game. So the 49ers at the Saints, basically how it's going down here, is after the 49ers lost to the Ravens uh, on Sunday... Um, they went from the, I believe, the, and I can check this just to make sure, they went from the number one seed in the NFC to the number five seed. Like, how, how do you even, how does, how, how is that even, like, possible? Like, how is that allowed that you can, you lose one game and you go from the top seed to the almost not in the playoffs? Like, that, I mean, really what it comes down to is what's going on in the NFC East that nobody can, you know, seem to, figure out uh, but what it really comes down to is how competitive the NFC is it's like this is the most it's like the most competitive conference you have seen like I mean you look at this uh, you know situation here I mean if you're a team like um, you know uh, like um, I, I don't know just pick one of them in the NFC like you know if you lose uh, you know you, you you lose a game and, you, and you're done like I mean you look at the uh, you know the, the Vikings are eight and four in, in their um, you know the, like the sixth seed um, you get the 49ers, like I said, are 10 and two, and they're the five seed. It's just, geez, I mean, it, it's really rare that that happens. You know, I mean, you've got, you know, a team like the Rams are seven and five. You know, a lot of the time, a team like that will get in, but um, you know, you got the Saints 10 and two, Seahawks 10 and two, Packers. I mean, it's just a really, 
really uh, large middle class in the NFC. You know, it's not like the AFC where it's like top heavy every year. Or it's New England and then somebody else. You know, it's just a lot of great teams in the NFC. Um, NFC, I think, I think it's clearly the, uh, the better conference. But you know, you, see, you look at this game, there's a lot on the line. Like if the 49ers lose this game, um, you know, I, I, I mean, I don't... They go, I don't even know if they could go to the sixth seed if that's possible. But, I mean, there's, you know, whoever wins this game is, is gunning for, you know, number one, number two seed, depending on how, how things play out here down the stretch. There's just a ton on the line. Um, I mean, I think this is really the game where you figure out who's the best team in the NFC. I mean, I really think it comes down to the 49ers uh, and the Saints. But, um, you know, even though the Seahawks did, uh, you know, get the win over, uh, you know, the 49ers. I mean, it went to, like, you know, the end of overtime. So, I mean, there's not... I mean, if they play that ten times, they'll probably split it, you know, five and five. But, um, you know, it's in New Orleans. I got the Saints winning this game. You know, the 49ers got, you know, they had, they had, they had to go to Baltimore last week. They got, you know, a bad weather game. They just got, you know, uh, hit right in the mouth by Lamar Jackson and the Ravens. Now they got to go to New Orleans. And, yeah, I don't like that stretch. I, I got New Orleans in this game. Next up, Detroit Lions at the Minnesota Vikings. The Lions are 3-8-1. and one. The Vikings are 8-4. and four. And uh, hanging on to the sixth seed. I got the Vikings winning this game. They need this one. Broncos at Houston. Give me the Houston Texans. Uh, Washington at Green oh, getting easy. Washington at Green Bay. Give me Green Bay. Cincinnati at Cleveland. Give me Cleveland. Balt Baltimore and Buffalo. Mm -hmm. This is a game. This is a game right here. Um, Baltimore at Buffalo. Man, I uh, oh, I like this is a good. How is this a one o'clock? Really because it's Buffalo. But you know, it's a good game. You know, Baltimore is ten and two. Buffalo is nine and three. You know, one game separates these two teams. Um. You know, it's actually possible since the Bills are 9-3 and three for, like, I think the first time in, what, like, over 20 years. And, uh, you know, New England, of course, is, uh, you know, 10-2, and two, and they're both in the AFC East. Like, you know, New England drops a game? You know, they, they could possibly, uh, you know, not even win the AFC East. You know, it's, it's still on the table here, which, you know, it's, like, unthinkable most years. But the Bills, tremendous defense, and, you know, Allen's getting it together. The offense is figuring things out, and... Uh, you know, it's uh, uh it's, it's looking good for Buffalo. Baltimore, they got to go up to Buffalo, which is like, I mean, it's not necessarily a tough place to play. Like, Seattle's a tough place to play, or New England, or Denver, or Kansas City, something like that. Um, but, you know, that, that crowd, you know, especially the fact that the Bills are in it, um, you know, they're a playoff team, you know, that, that place is going to be jacked up, you know, for this game. You know, the Ravens are, um, it's going to be a test. You know, the, the Bills have a great defense. Um... You know, Baltimore has Baltimore has got an Baltimore has an acceptable defense. Like it's you know they can they can hold the lead, but they're not you know it's not like Ed Reed and Ray Lewis and those guys are out there. It's just not what it is anymore. But it's good. It's serviceable. I mean, they're not gonna like blow the game, but um, at the same time, you know, I feel like if the Bills' defense can hold them to mm, hold the Ravens to you know twenty points, maybe maybe that's a tall order. Bills should be able to win this game. I, I feel like Baltimore, they're just, they're flying a little too high. You know, they're over there, like, you know, uh, showboating on the sidelines. You know, they, they just really think they're they're too cool for school. Um, they're going to go up to Buffalo. Good defense. I mean, then again, the 49ers are really great last week, except that was in Baltimore. You know, it was at home. Um, the Bills just strike me as just like a smash mouth, tough defensive football team. You know, it's a tougher place to play. Uh, you know, I, I got Baltimore. I, I, got the, I got the Bills winning this game. Next game, Carolina uh, at Atlanta. Give me, well, I mean, fired riverboat Ron Rivera has uh, gone from Carolina. You got, uh, you know, the, the Falcons. I mean, psh, I, I don't think I've ever seen a team that was, like, so hot, like this unstoppable team that goes to the Super Bowl. Then they lose, and they've been straight trash in the two seasons since. Like, they, they're 3-9. and nine. Three and nine. I mean, that's woof. You know, it's, it's a team that should be better than that. I mean, you, it keeps. There's a lot of these teams now. It seems like like the Chargers, like the Falcons, like the Cowboys, like the E. Like just can't. They can't put it together. Like they've got the they've got the, the talent. They've got what you need. You know, I think it's, it's coaching. Like there's just there's not enough good coaching in the league. There's just not. It's it's really bad. Um, next game, we got, uh, oh, yes, yeah, so I got to pick one of these teams. Um, Atlanta. It's in Atlanta. 
Uh, next game, Chargers at Jacksonville Jaguars. So the Chargers, you've been watching the Chargers going back for, I'd say like two years now. The Chargers have found every possible way to lose a game. Like if you look at their games, like if you just go down here, right? You talk, just look at like, you know, their like margin of, uh, you know, kind of what they've been losing by more often than not. Uh, last week they lost 23-20. to The week before that they lost 24-17. Week before that, they lose 26-24. Uh, and then the week before, you know, uh, November 3rd, uh, they beat uh, the Packers 26-11. Okay. But then they beat the Bears 17-16. They lose to the Titans 23-20. They lose to the Steelers 24-17. They lose to the Broncos 2013. They, okay, and then they beat the Dolphins, you know, 30-10. That's legit, except the Dolphins suck. Um, and then, you know, you got the Texans and the Chargers. You know, they lose 27-20. They lose to the Lions, 13 to 10. Week one, they beat the the Colts, 30 to 24. Like all, almost every single one of these is like less than seven or less. You know, almost every single time. They, they, you know, they, they you know whether they're you know throwing bad picks or getting a bad break or a bad call or you know calling the wrong play or missing kicks, which happens a lot. You know, it's like they just they, it's unbelievable. Like the Chargers could either be four and eight or like. Um, like like nine and three at this point, you know what I mean? Like it's like depending on how the breaks go, it, you know, it, it could have went, it could, it could have gone another way. Which you know, ultimately, you know, there's there's you know, second place is you know, first loser as they say. It's just that like man, it's like it's not like they're four and eight because you know, like can't win any games. Like they're in almost every almost every game they play. Man, are you gonna make I actually think in every single game that they played this season, they've been in every game. Um. It's just they, they keep finding every way to lose. Jacksonville Jaguars, on the other hand, you know, whether it's Nick Foles or Gardner Minshew, they just, you know, really, uh, you know, it's another team where just quarterback is not, uh, hasn't been going very well for them. Um, which is interesting because, you know, like Nick Foles, you know, he's been benched and he's been, you know, uh, was, was heralded uh, in, uh, in in Philadelphia for, um, you know, what... Um, you know what he what, what he did there on that Super Bowl in the end of that season. Then he was a Jacksonville, just mediocre. I never bought into the Gardner Minshew hype. I'm just not um, not a fan. I'm just not uh, not not really high on him. But um, anyways, yeah, I uh, it's in Jackson. You know, give me the Chargers winning. The Chargers need to win a game. I mean, come on. I mean, this looks like you know likelihood. This is it for Philip Rivers. I mean, he's gonna win a game. Last game, Titans in Oakland. Give me Oakland. Uh, not much else to talk about here. Kansas City in New England. So this is um, this is an interesting one right here. Kansas City in New England. So Kansas City, Kansas City, first of all, is a team that you know took the league by storm last year, and then ever since the Ravens have really popped, you really haven't heard anything about Kansas City. You know what I mean? It's like there's just been there's been nothing go, nothing nothing cooking with the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, you know, because you had Mahomes miss some time. They've had all their you know important playmakers that have. Uh, you know, miss time, um, and then of course you know, the Ravens have really overshadowed them. But now, you know, Mahomes has been back. He hasn't really been like his old self. You know, and, it, and this is the thing. You know, these mobile quarterbacks. Like I, I think the same thing's happened to Lamar Jackson. You know, you play long enough, you take enough hits. You know, you're not as mobile, and you know that's kind of the calling card for both Mahomes and uh, and, and, and Jackson. And so, um, you know, you, you can't do that forever. You know what I mean? It doesn't uh, doesn't doesn't work like that. Uh, you know, forever. And so you look at Mahomes, and yeah. The, Chiefs offense is really good, but uh, you know it's, it's not. It's not. It's not like that. You know, Chiefs Rams game from last. Remember that? Like that. That pinball machine game. It's not like that. So, you know, it's um, it's they're going into New England. New England needs the win because they've got the Ravens on their tail, the Bills on their tail. You know, you know how important that first round buy is for a team like New England that's a little older and kind of, uh, you know, needs the, uh, you know, really, I think every year, you know, the few years they haven't had that bye week, they, they haven't done anything. I don't think they've won other than maybe like, you know, 20 years ago. But, um, yeah, it's, 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 it's interesting because it's, it's like the Chiefs versus the goal. The Chiefs, Mahomes, and this is, this is the future of the league, and look at them. And then the Ravens, which by and large kind of it's the same operation, you know, just high flying, mobile quarterback, you know, just that whole style play, you know, the team runs through the offense, runs through the quarterback. Um, you know, it, it, it's they've just been overshadowed by the Ravens, and, and so 
It's an important game here because New England, if they lose this game, they're gonna worry about the. I mean, the, I mean, the number one seed can pretty much kiss that goodbye. Um, the, you know, the, the, the Bills, the Ravens are right there. You know, they, they need to win this game. At the same time, New England's offense this year has just been. It's bad. It's not. You know, I mean, it's not. It's not only like Brady. I know people want to blame Brady because you know he's a. People are sick of him, but he's got garbage for receivers. I mean, he's got. If you look at New England, he, he they, they've got like basically, you know, like how, how would I describe this? Like just a bunch of receivers who are like the same guy. It's just the same. They got a bunch of slot guys, and and then that's it. Like that's all. That's all there is. There's just like a bunch of slot guys. There's no burners. There's no, you know, big tight end like Gronk. There's no, uh, you know, nobody that sp- nobody stretch the field. They don't have any burners. There's no, there's no size. There's no speed. It's just a bunch of short slot, which has always been the case about New England. But you know, in previous years, you know, they had Gronk or they had, uh, you know, Randy Moss. You know, that was going back a long time. Or they had, uh, you know, Martellus Bennett. Or they had Brandon Cooks. Or they had uh, Malcolm Mitchell. Like they've, they've had somebody to play that role. And this year, they've just got a bunch of guys that do the same thing, and nobody can get open. Um, and then combine that with the fact that, you know, like New England last year, you know, because you think about like that AFC championship game, which is really a hell of a game, um, which was the last time these two teams faced each other all the way back in uh, back in January. You know, New England largely won that game because they were huge up front, you know, the with everybody. You know, they could just run the ball for like 40 minutes. They held the ball and kept Mahomes on the sideline and it went to overtime and they barely eked out the win. So this time around, there's no Gronk. There's no big receiver. They can't run the ball as well because they don't have the guys up front. Um, there's no burner, really. To, I mean, in combining that all with the fact that Kansas City played, you can't even call it defense because they played like no defense last year. That was their thing. They came into last year and some, they came into this year, rather, and, and, you know, when it was even worse somehow. Um, but in the last few weeks, the Kansas City defense, it's, it's you know, they've started playing, uh, playing man. They've started. I mean, if they're, they're not, you know, it's not the 85 Bears. It's not like New England's defense this year. Um, you know, it's, it's not the Bills. It's not, uh, you know, the Bears. But it's, it, it's, it's, they can get you some stops. They started playing good, you know, good man defense. They started putting it together. Um, and, uh, and it just feels like New England's catching them at the wrong time here. I got Kansas City win this game. I just, New England's offense, which is not, um, you know, it's just not, uh, not working out this year. I, I, I just think this is, this is a bad matchup. I got, I got Kansas City in this game. Uh, and then on Monday, people are really going to think the sky's falling on New England, which is feeling like every time they lose to Kansas City, that's kind of the storyline going back several years. But uh, nonetheless, uh, next game, at Pittsburgh Steelers at the Arizona Cardinals. Well, this is a rematch of uh, that Super Bowl. Uh, what was it, 10 years ago now? Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, the Steelers, Mike Tomlin, I... I give Mike Tomlin a lot of crap. I mean, a lot of people. He's just, you know, he's kind of one of these areas. He's not, he's not Jason Garrett, but he's kind of one of these, like, you know, cheerleader. And he gets up there at the press conference. You know, we got 17 players injured. We got, uh, you know, Big Ben's got a, 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 a you know, uh, he's got on the metacarpal, on the, the third, uh, you know, the bone. He's got a, a, a fractured, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know uh, b- bone in his, in his left hand. Uh, he's got an MCL sprain of the second degree. We expect that he's going to be back uh, between two and four weeks from the next game. But we have to monitor. Like, you, know, you know who he is, all right? Like, it's just not. Eh, you know what I mean? But um, it's just not much of it. You know, like the, the best coaches are the ones that go there and don't tell you anything. You know what I mean? They just are just some straight up, you know, heavy focused you know, coaches that can, that are aggressive, that can scheme. Like the reason why Pittsburgh, you know, never was able to get past New England all those years in the playoffs was because they would go out there and just roll out the same soft zone defense. Like that, he can't. You know, Tomlin just hasn't. You know, in his career, I mean, like, that, that Pittsburgh Steelers team chronically underachieved with Roethlisberger and Bell and Brown. Like everything they had for all those years, they should have won. You know, a few. Of them, you know what I mean? They should have won at least one, one more. Then they did, but you know, then they go up to New England. They bring out the same zone. De- like they would never. They, there was no, no scheming going on. Uh, you know, there. So, yeah, it's always been a knock against Tomlin. Is he just you know they either good at what they're good at, they're not good at what they're not good at, and, and they can't adjust. But then you look at this year, 
uh, you know, they lose Roethlisberger to injury. They lose Antonio Brown uh, to was trade, whatever the hell it was. I forgot about Antonio Brown. But they lose, you know, Le'Veon Bell. The whole thing basically falls apart. They start the year, you know, bad. You know, it was like this is uh, this might be one of their worst years in a really long time. And now they're seven and five, which you know it's not the not the best team. It's not the best record, but they really you got to give Tomlin credit. You know, he really you know it really could have been like zero and you know uh, twelve or something. You know what I mean? But they figured it out. You know, and it's been a, a, a quarterback carousel. You know, it's uh you got to give them credit. Uh, and I got Pittsburgh winning this game. Uh, Sunday night, uh, Sunday night game here. Uh, we got uh, the Seahawks at the Rams. Give me the Seahawks. Got the Giants at the Eagles. Give me the Eagles. And uh, that's gonna do it. All right, guys. What's gonna do this week's picks? Hope you enjoyed this one. Other than that, until next time, they'll do it. Thanks for watching.